Demanded it in November, and this week the FCC fell into line with Chairman Tom Wheeler unveiling a plan to regulate the Internet as a public utility using century-old rules meant for railroads and telephone monopolies to rein in today's broadband communications companies. Wall Street Journal assistant editorial page editor James Freeman and editorial board member Mary Kissel join us with more. So, James, for since uh, going back to the Clinton years, the uh, uh, Internet has been regulated uh, lightly as an information service. Why now change it to uh, a potential monopoly regulation? And that's the question, because this policy has worked so well. It's become this amazing instrument of international and interstate commerce. So what the president is proposing, and now the FCC is going to implement, is a massive, expensive solution to a problem that doesn't exist. It's a, it's a theory that, uh, that uh, your, uh, your traffic on the internet is going to be blocked and you're going to be discriminated against as a customer. And this got a lot of legs with a very misleading uh, uh, internet uh, video and TV show from a comedian named John Oliver last summer. And a lot of people had this idea that big companies are about to stop you from watching what you want on the internet. Uh, so, the solution to the problem that doesn't exist is telephone-style regulation for the Internet. So, would you try to, yeah, I want you to answer my question. <laughs> Why are they doing this now? Is it this I, irrational I, fear, or is it something more? Is it about politics? It's, it's, as James says, it's an irrational fear. The Internet is not broken. But the Obama administration wants to expand bureaucratic power before they leave the office. So, what the FCC is saying is, we want the ability to set prices and also, eventually, to tax. Uh, so it, it's like what we saw with Obamacare. It's, it's a bureaucratic takeover, a politicization of health care. They've done the same thing in banking. It's part of a larger pattern. Yeah, that's, uh, the, the way this work, lots, uh, allows is it's a, it allows the, the regulators to set rates, terms, and conditions. Now, you can drive a lot through those three words, including mm -hmm. price controls and including maybe content regulation. Now, AFCC chairman says, well, it'll be a light touch. We'll, yeah, he's we'll, promising forbearance uh, for now on the taxes and the, and the price setting. Well, isn't that what they all say? That's what they all say. <laughs> it's like it's a massive shift in power. And it's, <laughs> you're asking where is this coming from? It's basically it was, it's an unholy alliance between progressive activists and Silicon Valley. Well, which is, progressive activists like, uh, they like the, the, the political control that Mary mentioned. Right. Okay. What about Netflix, Amazon? Netflix and Google. Google and, and these, what's well, up for them? Well, Google, Google had a change of heart here because the irony is the, the administration says, well, you know, we want to help the little guy, but by uh, increasing regulatory uncertainty, what are they going to do? They're going to help the big incumbents, Verizon, Comcast, all the people who are entrenched to have big lobbying interests in Washington, and Google is a great example. Google is trying to compete with these people, so now and all of a sudden, now Google is against this. Well, so what, what, what is in it, though, for these companies like Netflix, which is a huge share Netflix and web traffic uh, together uh, generate more than half of Internet traffic. Okay. What they don't want is to have to pay for that service that they're using at market rates. So, uh, and I think now they realize this, this monster they've created will end up hurting them too, and that's why you see Google, is, is Google uh, uh, stepping back a bit. But, uh, but the general idea was Silicon Valley wanted Washington to force uh, providers of uh, communication services, broadband networks, to give them a better deal. And what they're, so what they did is they aligned with progressives who want the government to control the internet. And I think Silicon Valley is gonna regret this I think they're already regretting it. They're already stepping back. But the loser is going to be the customer because this is going to be more expensive service, less innovation. I mean, the old telephone system, a lot of the young people who are into this movement don't understand. Roughly a century, the technology did not change. You had a choice of a phone, either black or very black. Uh, it, you know, the big innovation after years was you could turn up the volume on the ringer. They, people do not understand how bad it was and how bad it could be. Right, the only way to change this, though, is I mean, if, if they go through this, the only way to take it on is in court by challenging it legally, which will be in, and happen in many cases. And then, uh, and then, uh, elected, elected government. government. Yeah, elected government. All right, we have to go. We have to take one.